Good evening. Welcome everyone present in this room tonight to my official welcoming of the world's greatest footballer to Guyana, to my home country, a country that is not historically known for the game of football, but hopefully with the visit of this great man, it will encourage a lot of the young kids in my country, especially those poor ones that he knows so well, to the game in a very, very big way. Hopefully that one day they will be partaking in the ceremonies that he knows so well all around the world where football is played. Mayor Green, I thank you for this opportunity to speak on behalf especially of the poor people of Guyana from which I come and as I said from which Pele has come. He would understand how important it is to have ones of us come out of the society out of our communities and go out to the rest of the world and be successful. He has been a major hero of mine, maybe the hero of mine. In my youth, I was Pele. In my youth, lots of kids who grew with me were Pele. It's the singular name that all of us know of football. We want to be him. And so therefore, in very much the same way, I know that the generations to come, having witnessed his great skill through technology, will also want to be Pele. But it's not just about kicking a ball, as Pele knows. It's about something else. You can't become a great player without something else. And he has an abundance of that something else. Something else. He knows humility. He knows the grandiose actions. He knows the skills. He knows so many other things that constitutes the great player of the great game. Pele, welcome to Guyana. I wish that you were staying longer to see so many of the things that we share. Not to worry. One thing I'd like to ask, you know, everybody in Guyana knows that it wouldn't be Eddie unless he said something specific about the condition of our people. Brazil and Guyana are getting ever closer together. Now we have a bridge and a road that brings one to the other. It will have an impact on the future of our countries. It is important that our government sees that our schools are taught Portuguese so that we can speak, so that I don't have this problem speaking to you. I should be able to speak to you in Portuguese like you can speak to me in English. Welcome to Guyana Pele, and we hope to see you back one day soon. Thank you all very much. And now, now I want to welcome the world's greatest footballer ever to my country, Guyana. getting in here just like that. You got to see. Give me that call, my brother. Ah. Oh, bloody hell. I don't want to dance. I don't want to dance. Oh, I don't. 
You never know what's going to happen to you when you see Eddie Gray. <laughs>